All right, let's see what we have for you here today. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the one of the four of wands. And with this card, I'm really seeing you soon having a reason to celebrate. With the four of wands, in fact, here, you see people having fun, uh, being happy about something that must have happened or will happen very soon for you, something that you see as a happy event. Maybe you didn't fully expect this to happen, but it's there and it's giving you a reason to go to your friends, to your family and just celebrate the event itself giving the good news and just sharing this happiness and excitement that you have inside of you because of this happening. This is beautiful because it also talks about a very safe environment for you. There is something here which is coming up uh, that comes from a person who wants to protect you, who wants to make sure that you have everything you need and that you are safe in a way. I keep hearing this word here. So what we're seeing here is the Four of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. And I will not deny that with the first card, I do see that maybe you are coming from a situation, a time where things were not fully what you wanted them to be. With this card, in fact, as you see also here in the picture, you have someone who is unimpressed, not satisfied. There is something in particular that perhaps you really wanted. You wanted to see evolving and transforming in a certain way, but it didn't. And so you were starting to get to a point where you felt frustrated and you felt as though you were not going to get what you wanted to get. But especially, you didn't feel part of the situation, as though someone maybe was not really seeing you for who you were, who you are, and overall was not really participating into the situation and doing everything that they could in order to make it successful. Maybe you felt as though you were the only one fighting for this. The only one who had a vision, who knew that some things needed to be fixed. But I do believe that this phase, it's soon going to be over if it hasn't already. In fact, although you are coming from a place where you haven't feel seen, you haven't felt seen, right now the next card, the Six of Wands, is quite the opposite, in fact. With the Six of Wands, Look at this, you are on a stage, you are seen. And of course, this is just a metaphor, but what we're seeing is that overall, someone is going to change the overall dynamic into the situation entirely. In fact, with the Ace of Cups right here, I almost interpret that as a gesture. Something that someone is going to do which will be the manifestation of their love for you. And this manifestation here, this event, it's going to be visible, not just for you, but also to everyone around you. We see right here someone doing something big, something very romantic as well, which will definitely make you understand that this person sees you and they are in love with you. Even if at times, maybe with the Four of Cups, you felt as though that wasn't the case. You know, when someone sees you at the six of, as the Six of Wands, it means that first and foremost, they know that they could never find anyone better than you. You are the perfect match. You are who they want to be with. And overall, they realize now that they need to do something in order to show you that, in order to make you understand that that's how they feel. And so this is good. If you were un unsatisfied and unimpressed with the previous situation, now you have something different coming your way, something very powerful. 
and something that it's going to change everything. Now, the judgment also is here at the bottom of the deck. And to me, this clearly talks about a spiritual awakening, an understanding that this person has now and who didn't have it before. And so let's see what it's taking this person to behave this way now. Why now? Let's look into that. Three of Wands and the Empress. So, first of all, we do have the Two of Wands here as well. This is not something that it's coming from an impulsive place. In fact, this feels like something that this person has been planning for a while now. They have started maybe you being not very happy, um, not showing them the same passion that maybe you have showed them before, not reaching out as much, not trying as hard as you were trying before. Because of course, you're you're starting to get a lot of tired of feeling as though the situation might be one-sided. And so while seeing these things, these new elements in the situation, they started realizing that they have to do something about it. And so this person is not doing this out of fear or out of something impulsive. They actually have been thinking about it, which means that they really mean it. With this three of wands, that's the time when they manifest the energy, when they release all the plans that they have been making up to this point. And with this card, you clearly have something that can be very passionate. You see, in fact, here an opportunity for something major to happen. There is something coming up, maybe your birthday, uh, maybe a, spe a special event, a special day that is outside of this relationship, or maybe, you know, uh, anniversary. Something here, which is their opportunity to do something big for you. And it's going to be really, really passionate. This could be traveling as well. It can be just exploring new territories in general, whether they are geographic or emotional territories, uh, new things, trying new things together. And overall, just making you feel as this beautiful empress here, which is clearly how this person sees you. Someone beautiful, someone who they they should appreciate sooner than later, otherwise they're going to lose it, lose the opportunity, lose this beautiful relationship that they do not want to lose. It's clear here. And so with the Empress, you know that this person is very attracted to you, even if at times they don't show that to you. But it's really important here to see that you are about to enter this very balanced situation with this person. Uh, we see it with the three of wands and the Empress is also number three. This is full balance. Everything that needs to be here is going to be here. It's an equal give and take. It's not one-sided anymore. And that is going to be actually very important because it's going to initiate and kickstart a new chapter between the two of you and so that's really good especially if you were unimpressed and not satisfied with the overall situation this is number three in general is working together to find unity so communication here might improve as well which perhaps it should given the fact that things were not working out very well so how are you going to feel whenever this person will show you this gesture, we'll do this gesture to you. Let's see how you are going to feel. Is it too late? Ten of Wands and Two of Cups, you know, with the Ten of Swords here, 
you were actually on your way out. You were starting to think that the, the only option that you had at this point was to walk away, to uh, pack all of your things and go. And mostly because, especially if you also feel like this empress, you know that your needs should be met, that you shouldn't settle down for someone or uh, just an overall situation that it's not making you happy today. And so what we see here is you almost ready to really leave and not just from the, the apartment, the house, but also emotionally. Just let go of something that you feel might not work for you anymore. And with this Ten of Swords, we see how you felt out of control. Because, you know, when it's one-sided and you feel that the other person is not working as hard for the relationship, there's not much else that you can do. And so right now, I just see how you were ready to get all of your things, leave, and just use this disappointment perhaps as a strength, as a tool that would have helped you finding a better situation from this moment forward. But this is going to be powerful, more powerful than you're thinking right now. This is going to be in fact something that is going to put you back into a mindset where you want to learn more about this person as if you were just meeting them for the first time. All of a sudden, we see mutual attraction, mutual respect, and mutual energy going back and forth, which is showing us someone who is now being a very passionate lover. And so we see how this person's behavior, attitude, it's going to change now the dynamic between the two of you, starting something new, which can be actually very powerful. And not at once, another unexpected event. What is what is actually happening here? Let's look into what this event is going to be. Let's see what they're going to do, how you're going to feel about it, the details, and how overall this event is going to change the, the very outcome of this relationship. Is it going to fix things and how this connection is going to transform also in the distant future? Is this something worth pursuing or should you keep walking away like you were thinking to do or maybe even started to do? If you want to dive deeper into the messages with me, just follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning, so please check your spam folder as well. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading. We have seen here, Virgo, a situation where things are soon going to change. Someone is truly going to show you how they feel. And overall, this is their last chance from what I see here to make things right. You know, we all fall in love and we all want for things to work out. But eventually, it's really important to realize that if something is not working out, maybe this is not the right time for this to happen. Doesn't mean that it's not going to happen in the future. But at the same time, if it's not making me happy today, how can it, make, can it make me happy in a week, in a month, in a year? And so I see you here starting to walk out, walk away. But right when you are at the door, this person is about to do something. There is something coming up which they will use in order to create something special for you. So we see how powerful that is going to be. Then let's focus on what that event could be what the energies of that event are so that we can understand the details and see how first and foremost you're going to feel in that specific night in that specific moment and let's see what it's going to change in the near and distant future first of all let's focus on the unexpected event with the knight of wands hmm. 
Okay. All right. So what we see here, it's clearly something powerful and something that they...